What's up guys? I recently bought a mini PC and that is positioned as a gaming PC. It has a very nice design with RGB lighting and good specifications, such as AMD Ryzen 5 5600U processor, Radeon RX, Vega 7 graphics, up to 64 gigs of RAM and 40 GB of SSD support. You know the specs say that this could be a good mini PC for gaming, however I don't really play computer games. I want to use this computer for some office tasks such as video editing. If you are interested in games, please write in the comments below. I can play some games on this mini PC in the next video. Ok, before testing the performance, let's do an unboxing and look at the design of the computer and because this is one of its main features. I didn't tell you the name of the computer, but I think you already read it in the title of the video, so it is called AMR5 from Ace Magician. And we can also see on the box that it is a late gaming PC. Another feature of this computer is the silent, odor and performance modes. We will talk more about that later. On the back of the box we can see the product information. In fact, my computer came with no the RAM and storage. I bought them separately. We will talk about that later as well. As the box opens in a very exciting way. We can read about modes and extendable memory again. First, there is a user manual in the box. Then we have a mini PC. As well as power adapter, power cable and HDMI cable. That's it. As you understand, you also need a monitor, keyboard and mouse to use a computer. Before I plug it all in, let's take a look at the design of the AMR5 mini PC. So most people choose a mini PC over a desktop computer because of its compact size. AMR5 is only 155 by 130 by 72 mm. The weight is 1480 grams, so it doesn't take up much space on your desk. I also like the fact that AMR5 is not lying down but standing up. I think it is more convenient to connect the devices to the ports. This is a gaming mini PC, so it must have RGB lighting. You can use a utility to change the light mode or turn it off. In addition, the mini PC logo and power button on the front are backlit. As for the connectivity options, there's audio, USB 3.0 and USB Type-C on the front. Two USB 3.0, display port, HDMI, LAN and DC power on the back. Another feature of AMR5 mini PC is a magnetic cover on the side for changing SSD and RAM. It is very easy and quick to do, unlike other mini PCs. By the way, the manufacturer says that AMR5 uses an advanced heat dissipation design. There is an all copper cooling fan and three dedicated exhaust vents inside. The last feature in design of AMR5 is the dial to change modes. The mini PC has silent mode, auto mode and performance mode. The power consumption and fan speed varies depending on the mode. Now I want to turn on the mini computer and see if the modes really work. In the core temp program, we can see that AMR5 consumes about 3 watts in a quiet mode. Now we will run the stress test and the power consumption will increase to a maximum of 12 watts. If you switch to auto mode, the power increases to 18-20 watts. In the performance mode, the power consumption is 25-28 watts and the fan speed is 4200 rpm. You know, this dial to change modes is very useful thing. You can use a silent mode when watching YouTube, Netflix or Twitch. The audio mode is good for office tasks, for example Microsoft Word. When you are playing games, it is better to switch to performance mode. Before launching the benchmarks and performance tests, I have to tell you about specifications of my mini PC. I have a model of AMR5 computer with AMD Ryzen 5 5600U CPU and Radeon RX Vega 7 graphics. I have installed two Samsung DDR4 RAM drives of 4 gigs each and Golden Fire 256GB M2 NVMe SSD. In general, AMR5 mini PC supports up to 64GB of RAM, 2 drives by 32GB and up to 4TB of SSD, 2 drives by 2TB. First, let's check the computer's boot speed. It is 22 seconds and I think it is fast enough for Windows 10 Pro operating system. 
Now I want to run some benchmarks. Once again, I want to point out that I have only 8 gigs of RAM, which is not very much. It is better to use at least 16 gigs of RAM for better performance. However, even with 8 gigs, the benchmark results are very good. AMR5 Mini PC has 17 63 points in a single core test and 62 65 points in a multi core test of Geekbench 6. Overall score in PC Mark 10 benchmark is 59, 46 points. I also run some tests in 3D Mark and you can see the results. You know I'm really surprised by the benchmark's results because they are very good for a $300 mini PC. As I said before, I plan to use AMR5 computer not for gaming, but for home and office tasks. I watch YouTube a lot, so let's check how the mini PC will handle 4K videos. As you can see, 4K video runs and plays immediately. That's very good. By the way, AMR5 mini PC supports Wi-Fi 6, so the internet is also fast. Now let's open some tabs in Google Chrome with 4K videos as well as some pictures on our website. So I opened 7 videos in 4K resolution as well as 5 pages of the website. The mini PC is still running without lags, and that's great. By the way, I also plan to edit videos on this computer. So let's check out Adobe Premiere Pro. I added a 4K video to the program, and as you can see, it is scrolling and playing without delays. If we export one minute of video, it only takes 42 seconds. So I can claim that this mini PC is good for video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. As I said at the beginning of the video, I plan to use a Magician AMR5 mini PC for office tasks, not games. And now we can tell you, it is really good for the office and home. I chose a mini PC over a desktop computer because of its compact size and quiet work. You know I didn't even expect this kind of performance from the mini PC, so it even exceeded my expectations. If you're interested in games on this computer, write in the comments below. I will make another video with a gaming test. Thank you for watching. See you soon.